Okay, um, we spent the last several videos dealing with the beta integral function. In our introduction video, we laid out what the definition is for it. And then, based upon this definition, it was pretty simple to derive a trig counterpart for the beta function. Then we spent uh, three videos deriving a relation between the beta function and the gamma function. And in the last integral, or the last video, we derived a reduction formula uh, for the beta function. And now we want to use these relationships here to solve different types of integrals. And we have here integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed times 1 minus x squared dx. And if we look at this, we can say, well, this would be a beta function of 4, 3. And we could use this right here to try to get a numerical expression for this. But let's start off here with our reduction formula and see how that works out in practice. So here we have the beta function of 4, 3 equals m minus 1 times n minus 1. So you have 3 times 2. Then m plus n, subtract 1, and then subtract 1 again. So that's 7 minus 1 is 6 times 5 times the beta function of 3, 2. You see, applying this is a lot easier than what it looks. And for this beta function, let's see if we can apply the reduction formula again. So here we have 3, 2, we have this coefficient, then 3 minus 1 and 2 minus 1. That's going to be 2 times 1. 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 1 is 4, subtract 1 again, and this will be the beta function of 2, 1. And it looks like we have to stop here, because if we attempt to apply the reduction formula to this, the numerator here is m minus 1, that would be 1, but 1 minus 1 is 0, so we can't reduce this any further. Um, what would this look like in integral form? We would have 0, 1, x, 1 minus x, dx. And this would be raised to the 2 minus 1 powers. So that's just x. Then here, this would be 1 minus x to the 1 minus 1 power. So this is just 1. So all we have then is the integral of x dx, that's 1 half x squared, 0 to 1, equals 1 half. So we have beta 2 1 equals 1 half. So let's go back to where we were with this. We have beta 4, 3 equals 3 times 2 times 2 times 1 divided by 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 1 half from here. And let's see. We have two ones, two, so this could be three times two times one, that would be three factorial, and two times one, that's two factorial, divided by six times five times four times three times two, six factorial. And this, that would be the solution to this integral right here. And let's see now, if we had applied this relationship, we would have said, well, for beta 4, 3, that would be equal to 
a gamma function of 4 times a gamma function of 3 divided by the gamma function of 7. Well, that's 3 factorial. And this is 2 factorial. And that's 6 factorial. So, we kind of went the long way around uh, just to show how to apply this in practice. And also, we wanted to derive this relation here. Um, but as you can see, uh, the beta function can be pretty handy for solving different types of integrals here. And let's see if we can quickly take just one more straightforward example. Uh, let's see, suppose we had this integral here, 0 to 1 x to the fourth, 1 minus x squared dx. So that would be equal to the beta function of 5, 3. So again, let's start off by using our reduction formula. We have beta, 5, 3. That would be equal to m minus 1 times m minus 1. So that's 4 times 2 divided by 5 plus 3 is 8 minus 1 is 7. Subtract 1 again times the beta function of 4, 2. And let's again apply the reduction formula to this. So we have 4 times 2 over 7 times 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is going to be 3 times 1. Uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. Subtract 1 is 5. Subtract 1 again is 4. That would be the beta function of 3, 1. And again, we can't reduce it any further because this will give us a zero in the coefficient. So let's see, what would this be equal to here? The integral of zero to one, x, one minus x, and this would be x squared, one minus x to the zero power, dx. So this, of course, is just one. So the integral of x squared dx, that's one-third x cubed, zero to one, so that's just one-third. So we have another basic identity here. Okay, and let's go back to where we were then. Beta function of five, three. equals this, 4 times 2 times 3 times 1 times this, 1 third, divided by 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. And let's see what we have up here. 4 times 2 times 3 times 1, that could be 4 factorial times 1. Down here we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Um, if we had a 2 down here, that would be 7 factorial. So let's multiply top and bottom by 2. And this now becomes equal to 4 factorial times 2 factorial divided by Seven factorial. And of course, if we had applied a relationship here between the beta function and the gamma function, we would have said, well, this here, that's the gamma function of 5 times the gamma function of 3 divided by the gamma function of 8. 
but that's 4 factorial times 2 factorial divided by 7 factorial. So again, we use kind of a long way around here to solve this integral, which is this, but we did have to show that applying this here is a lot easier than what it looks, and also we wanted to derive this relation here. Um, so that's it for this video. What we'll do is we have two more left in how to apply the beta and gamma functions for solving different types of integrals that might be a little bit more complicated than the ones we've dealt with so far.